friends and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. This is the course overview for the course Linux Operating System Basics by Vagish Kumar. So in this course we will be learning about the history and evolution of the Linux operating system. We will learn what is Linux. We will also learn the difference between Windows and Linux operating system as well as difference between Linux and other available operating systems in the market. Then we will learn about the design of the Linux operating system, various components that form the Linux operating system and the function of each and every of those components. We will also learn the Linux kernel about the Linux kernel. So what is Linux kernel and what function does it perform? Then we will have a small session on various Linux distros available in the market. So distros, Linux distros are nothing but various flavors of Linux, various versions you can say in one term. So various versions of Linux operating system that are available in the market. Apart from that we will learn the Linux installation. So there will be a complete guide to install Linux on any available computer system. Then we will learn how to use the graphical user interface of Linux. So graphical in user interface is something similar to the desktop on Windows. We'll also learn adding new software to Linux system using the package manager. So package manager is a tool that will be available to us through graphical user interface. After that we will proceed to an advanced access environment which is the command line interface and in Linux the command line interface is given by the Linux terminal. So we will learn about Linux terminal, we will learn how to use that, we will learn basic shell commands. So shell is the default interpreter for Linux commands. Okay, So the command line interface on Linux has an interpreter which will understand all your commands and this particular interpreter is known as shell. And there are various kinds of shells available on Linux operating system. We will learn about the bash shell in our course. Then we will learn about the VI editor and how to use that. So there are various uh, text editors available on Linux. Something as simple as Notepad is also available. But the simple text editors are not much of a use when you have to edit the source codes written in various programming languages or maybe the shell commands because they will not do the syntax highlighting for you. Moreover many functions like the copy paste and all the other functions search and replace. So these functions are more efficiently and performed in the advanced editors of Linux like the VI editor and moreover you have a lot of shortcuts available so that will make your pro uh, coding quite faster. And apart from that there are some utilities in these editors that are not available in the basic command line editors. So that is why we'll have an introductory session to the VI editor and apart from uh, after this session, this session onwards we will do all our programming in the VI editor. So all the shell scripts that we'll be writing later on will be on the VI editor. Okay, so after that we will learn about creating and managing users on the Linux operating system. So as we will come to know that Linux is a multi-user operating system. That means that multiple users can be logged on to one single Linux system at one time and each of those users will have a different workspace, a different environment of their own. So each user, if you are talking of logged on through a graphical user interface. So each user will have his own desktop. Okay. And the software that one user install will not be available to the other, other user. So one user cannot see or view the files of the other user. So you can have this kind of control on the Linux operating system. So all these things we will learn over here. Apart from that we will learn the advanced shell commands. Okay. And uh, after doing that much, we'll learn the advanced shell commands which will help us to manage various writes on the files like the access writes, read write and execute write. Then we'll learn such 
some some commands such as grep which will help you to search a string throughout your Linux system it will open all the files and find out a particular string and wherever it occurs it will tell you that it is over here so these commands are very very powerful indeed and you will come to know the beauty of these commands when you will learn them in our videos on advanced shell commands apart from that th there are some system management and monitoring commands like top lsof etc which we will learn about then we'll also learn how to use the command line tools and utilities to add new software to your linux system okay and then at the end we'll have an introduction to the shell scripting so shell scripting is the default scripting language used in linux so if you want to do some programmed tasks some automated tasks you would do that on shell scripting so it is something similar to the windows batch files if you have used those on windows so it just it is a set of commands that can run and execute one after the other and you can also schedule these commands to run so suppose you want that whenever your computer boots up it should load a particular program and it should open a particular file or it should log in a particular file that on at this particular time the computer came up and this user logged into the computer so these kinds of things can be automated and it the scope is endless so we'll learn all this when we'll do the introduction to the shell scripting now about the prerequisites of uh, this course so one thing that you need to know is the basics of a computer system so I expect that all the viewers of this course are well versed with the computer hardware and peripherals like they know what is a keyboard what is a mouse what is a RAM what is a ROM and hard disk and all so if you understand all these things then you will be good to go for this course apart from that you should have a basic knowledge of computer operation using any other operating system like Windows or Mac OS but we'll usually be comparing our Linux operating system environment to the Windows operating system. Okay, so ap apart from that, if you want to learn the advanced stages of this course, like the shell scripting, you should have a basic knowledge of any programming language. It is good to have, so it is not mandatory, but, but it is good to have. And then there is there should be a quest to learn a different operating system. So why I have added this prerequisite is because when you will turn to Linux system and uh, suppose you already have a very very nice hand on an operating system like Windows you'll find Linux very different and you might find Linux quite difficult to use because you are already worst with using the Windows operating system so although Linux provides all the functionalities which Windows gives you moreover it gives you a lot of flexibility but the transition from Windows to Linux uh, might be quite difficult so it might be a challenge for you so you will be over able to overcome this trans uh, transition hindrance if you have a deep quest to learn a different operating system okay so that was the overview of the course uh, Linux operating system basics by Vagish Kumar and uh, I hope that you watch this course regularly on the Edupedia world videos. So thank you.